First things first, I did not buy this product. It was sent to me by TikTok, thank you very much for that. And also, if you are, are interested in buying this product, I will stick links in the video description in case you want to go and check it out. Plus, there should be a 10% discount code or some sort of discount code in the video description. So check that out. So with that, let's get on with it, shall we? It comes with instructions and this is multilingo and it does up to six different languages six different languages is it six one two three four five seven seven different languages and each language has six pages okay got that out of the way it comes with a usb to usb type c connection and that is about two to three hundred mil long not very long but i'm not going to measure it up get that out of the way and the device itself which I thought was quite unique. Very different, isn't it? Now then, I know what you're thinking. Well, why do I want one of these, Yorkie? Yeah, I know it's a countdown. And I know you've got that on your phone. But how many times have you set your phone up to do, say, for instance, an alarm, and it's never gone off? Yeah? Can you trust your phone to do that? Now, this is designed as a countdowner. And it does from 99 minutes, 99 seconds maximum. And this would be perfect for anyone who's got their own little gym and on an exercise machine or something like that and they need to keep an eye on how long they've been on it so they can go on to the next one. Or say for instance you're watching YouTube and you need to keep an eye on, you don't need to spend too much time on watching YouTube because you've got other things to do. Perfect again. Or you just need to take a break every now and again. Say every hour. And you need to keep an eye on the time. Again. This will do that for you. Also, it has built-in times already on it, presets, and you can also set up your own. You can do as little as one second, and up to 99 minutes and 99 seconds, yes. And we are going to go through that right now. So, when you turn this on, let's get it around the right way. You just need to hold one button, and it comes on. Now, if you want to turn it off, you just hold both buttons in for about three seconds and it will go off. Yeah, simple. So one button, doesn't matter which one, either one. Now, if you want to use the presets, these digits around the side, it's quite easy. Say, for instance, you want to do 30 minutes. So all you do, turn it around, put it down, and voila, you are doing 30 minutes. Simple, yeah? Now then, say, for instance, you want to do, or you want to change it to 10 minutes. Well, actually, let's change it to three minutes, which is now. So I only want to do three minutes now. Voila, job done. That's yeah, simple, isn't it? Really easy. Now then, you might be one of those people who want to do your own time. So press the button that resets that. Job done. Now then, we have seconds on the right minutes on the left and volume adjustment at the bottom now the volume adjustment can only work once you set the timer up from what i understand so you need to do the timer first so we're going to do seconds and we're going to do we're going to set it for 10 okay so set it for 10 seconds now all you have to do is turn it like that and that will count down 10 seconds with a flashing light on top yeah easy when it gets down to zero it will send off an alarm and that will go for eight eight times i can say it alarms then eight times and then stop now then should you be one of these people let me do it again should you be one of these people who want to turn it off sooner than uh, the eight the eight beeps yes i'm going to show you how to do that as well it's quite simple actually it's quite clever the technology in here is very good you will see turn it upside down and she stops very simple it has a gyroscopic thing in there or something like that i think it's called a gyro something or other so it knows which way up it is someone quote me on what it, what the actual term is <laughs> so yeah very easy to do it works extremely well like I said, you have volume control, yeah? So the clock is on. 
Now to turn your volume up or down, you hold the buttons in plus and minus. So I'm going to do plus. Oops, that's not right. Set that for 10. Now to adjust the volume, you've got to hold it in this position like this. And then press the button. And that will bleep. Now then, should you want to mute it or turn the volume down, you can. But you have to set the clock up first, like I said earlier. And the way you do it is, say for instance, we're going to do, oops, uh, say 20 seconds, just for this demonstration. So set, and then you turn it. You have to have it in this position, otherwise the volume control won't work. Now I'm going to turn it up. that's as loud as it goes. Now you can actually press the minus button and it will go to silent. Yeah, quite clever. Voila. Let me know in the comments what you think. I actually like it. I think it's unique. It's got a nice bit of style into it. It's totally different from what I've ever seen before. And hopefully it's totally different from what you've seen before. So with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Please subscribe. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you very much for watching. It's a clock with a difference. Timer. It's a timer.